So with the metaverse growing day by day with help of companies like Facebook, which is now called Meta, games are in the forehand of this movement. Today I bring you a project that could very easily 100x, 500x, even 1000x. And before you guys say no, lies, click off, just give me a sec to go through this white paper and you'll see exactly what I mean. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. The content provided is for information and entertainment purposes only. So today's project is a first person shooter role playing game called Meta Strike. As you guys can see, this game has a very, very similar feel to Call of Duty. This game is free to play, play to earn, and you're able to trade your NFTs, which are going to be in game. I'll show you guys the trailer of this real quick. Once been valued more gets replaced by the concept of efficiency. Soldiers marching on, convincing themselves of the new ideology of money. Would it be right to say that the day is bright in the fitful rain of a sunny day? So as you guys can see from the trailer, there's going to be different modes and different gameplays. This game has, it's kind of like a combination of Counter-Strike and Call of Duty. Introducing Meta Strike, a blockchain based role playing shooting game with a collection of weapons for players to equip, upgrade level to complete missions and earn NFTs and tokens. Players can have a gun collection, build maps to fight and steal NFTs from other players. I don't know how the whole stealing NFTs from other players is going to work. Maybe there'll be a specific game mode where say you die, maybe you can drop your NFT or maybe you can put him up or something. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll look into that. Metastrike is a first person shooter project that can be used as a basics to develop your own first person shooter projects with any ideas. So they're also trying to be like, like a sandbox in a way, right? So they're giving us the platform this is all under the unreal engine so from that i guess we'll be able to create our own game modes so the game modes we have zombie mode team deathmatch and deathmatch custom maps you can build your own maps nft box so i'm assuming this is how the nfts are going to come out like once the game is on or ongoing i should say uh will either be dropped or you'll be able to buy so this is how they're going to come or maybe they'll do some tweaks to it but yeah, so we can open it, open box, loads, and we get a little handgun. As you guys can see, the graphics are pretty nice. Nothing out of this world, but like I said, pretty Counter-Strike-ish, you know, 90s computer style game. Equipments, here they show other guns, you know, fully automatic. I'm not sure what this is. This looks like a rocket launcher of some sort, grenade launcher. Knives, handguns, we already saw. So this is just a quick sample of the guns. Now, they want to be in the metaverse. So this game is going to be desktop and also VR. So I'll show you guys a little uh, testing of the VR that they have done. As you guys can see, the guy here is navigating through the map, uh, the map that was shown in the trailer. Everything looks good. Everything looks great. The graphics look pretty good to me. But yeah, this is just quick to show you guys that they are actively working on developing the VR to go into the metaverse guild fight each other to steal land land uses for the metaverse so guild players use land to build houses and their own headquarters um inside houses and headquarters can create their own games and earn money when other players visit so once they go into the metaverse i guess they're gonna own like their own 
set up we can go and build our own rooms i guess different game modes when people come in they can either play steal your land apparently or you can get money from them coming and playing on your land now this is where it gets interesting this is where i said that it could potentially 100x 500x even a thousand x so they're gonna have two tokens the mst token which is the one that's gonna be used for nft drops for staking for major tournaments um for DAOs, all of that for buying land in the metaverse and there's gonna be the in-game token which is the mtt token so this is just in-game so this will be used to unlock maps uh participate in games and special events purchase regular consumables upgrade your weapons and obviously you can swap it for the mst token roadmap quarter 4 2021 this is right now the ido is being released pre-alpha so one thing i want to tell you guys this is still very 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 early so when i found out about this about i want to say five days ago this was at 700 followers their discord is pretty quiet as of right now they don't have a counter or anything it's just generic uh some people talking they have a few things here um ido they haven't really said much uh there's a few people commenting they're trying to somewhat get whitelisted because they don't obviously don't want to miss out especially on such an early project they have meta strike betas uh open better close better again none of this is being talked in by the developers or anything like that but it's good that if you're interested in this project that you get on this early quarter one of 2022 marketplace closed beta nft for sales quarter two 2022 the closed beta version uh human ai weapon switching uh diving mode laser side metaverse land for sales q3 open beta version deathmatch mode uh metaverse early access so a year from now right this is what i mean by this game this is super early a year from now is when the full 3d models will be released new nft maps and skins weapon upgrades meta version um sorry metaverse version 1.0 now going into their white paper here is a little more about the weapons you can see there's common there's rare legendary there's different crate loots we have this is the one that we opened so it's good that they're having different rarities because this is what's going to help keep a value for trading your nfts here they have some illustrations of what the home screen the home screen could look like what the game menu could look like it's very simple just fighting single player multiplayer victory you know illicit it's very straight forward like any game that you would have that is a first person shooter here's what i wanted to show you guys the dual token mode the msc token max supply of 1 billion um this is used for maps and nfts like we said DAOs, all that meta strike in-game token is called mtt this is the main play to earn so you're gonna earn your money in mtt from mtt you can switch it back to mts and from mts you can just cash out as you guys can see the mtt has no max supply it's uncapped so anytime mtt is used for anything in the game whether it be customization building uh buying anything it will be burned forever 10 percent of that will be pulled into a weekly prize pool to be rewarding games or used for competitions so all the competitions that you see up here um ways that you can earn money gaming competitions events all that will be taken from the 10 percent um of mtts that are going to be burned uh mts token allocations 25 percent goes to the private sale uh 15 goes to the team eight percent for liquidity one percent for airdrops 17 percent for marketing competition event and ecosystem and 30 percent will be staked for the community rewards yield and farm foundation reserves all that now this is the juicy part if you guys can see here the reason why i said it could even a thousand x Games like Call of Duty are out here selling a billion dollars. The initial market cap, if you were to get into this project as soon as the IDO releases, if you were to get on this first thing, if we times 100, 450, it puts us at 45 million. 45 million dollars is almost nothing for games like this or for any projects that are in NFTs, metaverse, and on top of that, a game, play to earn. This, this, this project is covering everything. So, times 500 this would only put this project and i say only openly because when it comes to nfts and crypto like market caps can just blow up but that would put it at 225 million dollars if we double that 
obviously it would make it for it to hit a hundred a thousand x sorry for this project to hit 1000 x this would get to 450 million dollars it's under a it's just just below of half a billion dollars you guys gotta keep in mind we have projects like axiom that are doing like billions a quarter or billions a month it's just something crazy so if you guys think a project like this can just blow up which i'm pretty sure it will because first person shooter it has that retro vibe it's play to earn nfts you can sell your nfts you can stake it there's just so many options this is just i feel like it's destined to grow and to make things better the team has worked for ubisoft you know developed games like hungry dragon squares Enix. uh they've done stuff like final fantasy power rangers you know the list goes on this seems like it's a very experienced team so if if this is something that you believe in or something that you can see growing i would definitely recommend looking into it the tokens have not even been released yet so we're still super super early we have until the end of the year i believe it'll probably happen closer to december the only thing i can do tell you guys though is that here like they said on their twitter and on their discord they will be partnering up with roseon finance um here they say that it will be released november 2021 so we still have uh, about 20 days for it to potentially be released but yeah they haven't given any information this is the only thing they've said if you want to get the coins just make sure the only thing i can say to you guys is just make sure that you download the Rosion app and just make an account that's probably the best thing you can do i already did it i already downloaded it just be ready maybe send some money over if you're really interested if you want to you know lock some coins in to maybe stake or just try out the game but yeah, this feels like it's going to be a big hit. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it around. Um, the more people know about this, the more the project will succeed, the more games, tournaments, all that when it comes around. Um, we post daily, so we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.